Let's cross live then to Scotland Yard and speak to our Home Affairs correspondent, Mark White. So, Mark, what did the police make of those ideas? Well, I think it's fair to say that the Prime Minister's suggestion that people, say, from the business world could come in and effectively be police chiefs is being greeted with incredulity. Now, officially, the Association of Chief Police Officers say they've always been of the opinion that experts from the business world are very valuable in the likes of IT, human resources and, say, finance. But the, the thought that someone like that could be uh, responsible for operational matters, in, a, in essence, make Making life and death decisions, life and death decisions. Sorry about that. Uh, without having that level of training, uh, is just unrealistic. Uh, and unofficially, I spoke to a senior police officer who said that uh, he uh, was of the opinion that this was utterly idiotic. The suggestion by the prime minister, uh, and that the last thing they need is a knee-jerk reaction to the current crisis. And um, I hope you haven't been deafened by that horn, Mark. I'm going to risk another question. Also this evening, uh, news about an expansion in the Met inquiry into phone hacking. Yes, it's half past six. Uh, sorry. Uh, Sue Akers, who is the Deputy Assistant Commissioner uh, of the Metropolitan Police in charge of the phone hacking investigation, has uh, said that she is expanding uh, the current number of officers from 45 to 60 uh, because of uh, an upsurge in the workload that they're dealing with in terms of uh, the inquiries that uh, they're getting from members of the pub uh, public and uh, legal teams as well. Uh, it's interesting this because the Home Affairs Select Committee has called for an expansion in that investigation because at the moment only 170 of the potentially 4,000 phone hacking victims have been contacted. They're being contacted at a rate of about one a day and it's estimated it could take about a decade before everyone has been told uh, whether they've been hacked into or not. So I think this is the first um, step in the process to expanding this inquiry. Mark White, thank you.